At National Grid, we're making significant investments to upgrade the electricity transmission network and support the UK government's plans for a net zero future. Alongside upgrades to the existing high voltage electricity network, we're planning additional network reinforcements to make sure that we can connect homes and businesses to new renewable and low carbon electricity generation sources. Some of our plans meet the criteria to be classified as nationally significant infrastructure projects. Other examples of nationally significant infrastructure projects include new airports, major roads, renewable energy projects and power stations. These types of projects require a special type of planning permission known as a Development Consent Order or DCO. DCO applications are examined by an expert independent inspector or panel of inspectors known as the examining authority and are approved or refused by the UK government. So, how does the development consent order process work? Before submitting an application, our teams will spend a lot of time developing detailed plans for the new infrastructure we're proposing. We'll undertake technical work and environmental surveys and assessments, speak to landowners and other stakeholders and seek feedback on our plans through consultation, including a statutory public consultation. These consultations are your opportunity to shape and influence our proposals. All feedback is carefully recorded and included in our DCO application, along with detail on where it has led to changes in our designs. Once we've submitted our application, it's over to the Planning Inspectorate. First, they have to decide whether we've included enough detail in our application for them to be able to accept and examine it. Once that's done, they'll intensively scrutinise our proposals by reviewing our application documents and all representations of support or objection received, and by holding public hearings if required. This is known as the project's examination period. Anyone who is interested can register to take part in the examination and will have the opportunity to make either verbal or written representations about our plans. Upon conclusion of the examination, the Planning Inspectorate will write a report on their findings, including a recommendation regarding the nationally significant infrastructure project. For applications by National Grid, this report will go to the Secretary of State for Energy, Security and Net Zero, who has the final say on whether to grant or refuse development consent. From submission to decision, the entire process takes approximately 18 months. Find out more on the Government's Planning Inspectorate website.